Hello everyone and welcome to Teamtober of 2024 Teamin Wiki News. I'm Daydream and here is the first news for you. Teamin's second solo album Muse has reached a new peak rising one spot from last week to number one on the Billboard World Albums chart. Muse spends 11th week on the chart it becomes his second solo number one on the chart after Face EP in April of 2023, and Jimin is now the first and only K soloist to chart at number one for six weeks on Billboard World Albums chart, as well as he is now the second K-pop Korean soloist in history with the most number ones on the Billboard World Albums chart, two albums. And also we had Tommy Brown, co-producer for Smeraldo Garden Marching Band and co-composer for Rebirth, also sharing this news on his personal Instagram stories. Then in its 12th week on Billboard Hot 100, who rises to number 25, 5 spots higher than week 10 and 1 spot higher than week 11th, by doing so, achieving highest week 12th for a K soloist in the past decade. And it becomes the first and only song by K pop soloist to spend 12 weeks in the top 40 of Billboard Hot 100 this decade as well. It also remains as the highest and longest charting song of 2024 by a K act. Following up, Jimin's Who rose 5 spots to number 20 on Billboard's streaming songs chart, spending its 11th week there, Who extended the record for the longest charting song by a K soloist, including both solo and collaborative songs, since 2013. Who by Jimin now ties BTS's Butter as the third longest charting song by a K act on Billboard streaming songs chart this decade as well, and Jimin breaks the tie with Jungkook and becomes the second longest charting Asian soloist on Billboard streaming songs chart. In its 12th week, Who also re entered top 10 of Billboard Global Excluding US chart at number 8. And here are the rest of Jimin's spots for week 11th and 12th on the Billboard charts. As of other records and chart achievements, Jimin has reached 300 million streams on Spotify USA. He is now the first and only K soloist and the second K act following his own group BTS to ever reach this milestone, as well as he is the most streamed solo artist among BTS members on Spotify USA. Jimin's Who is now the fastest solo song by K pop soloist to reach 600 million filtered streams on Spotify Global, surpassing Standing Next to You by Jungkook. It is now the 19th most streamed song by a K-pop act on Spotify, surpassing Blackpink do 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 do. Jimin has surpassed 5 billion streams on Spotify across all credits. He is the 8th most streamed K-act on the platform. He also owns the most streams for a K-soloist solo song credits. And as Angel Part 2 surpasses 100 million streams, Jimin has now 15 songs that reached over 100 million streams on Spotify. Then, Who maintains the top spot on the Circle Global K-Pop chart weekly ranking for the 40th week of 2024, reaching the top spot for 11 consecutive weeks. It is the first and only song to top the Circle Global K-Pop weekly chart for 11 weeks in 2024. And Jimin's Magic Bob, who is 9th this week on the United World chart, scoring an 11th consecutive week in the global top 10, the longest run for an Asian act this year. And now let's move on to the outline of 2024 
Teamtober projects and celebrations that happened and are still ongoing for our Chimini's birthday. Starting with the truly amazing and magical The Truth Untold exhibition that opened in the Le Meridien Moxie Building, Myeongdong, Seoul on 11th of October and will last until November 3rd, which teleported all visiting armies into the most wonderful dream come true, Jimin Land. By visiting the site, everyone can dive deeper into Jimin's untold stories that go beyond the expression of his solo album's face and muse. Face captures Jimin's creative process marked by his inner dialogue and introspection and sends ripples of resonance across the world. Muse portrays his journey of seeking inspiration from his surroundings and as he serenades his listeners in garden filled with fragrant smeraldo blooms, a key motif of Muse that symbolizes the truth untold. You can take a stroll through the rooms filled with Jimin costumes from all his music videos, concepts and live performances, take a peek at some of his incredible record-breaking trophies including his Billboard Hot 100 plaque and MAMA Best Male Artist Award, and even experience a glimpse into his thought process during the creation of his carefully crafted lyrics as well as witness how he paid attention to every little detail by drawing out the choreography and camera positioning for the Like Crazy MV and live performance. Everything came out just perfect because of him and his own genius ideas. Jimin's handwritten special letter to armies that he wrote during the production diary was also displayed at the exhibition, once again reminding us of his enormous gratitude, humbleness and love he holds for us so deeply in his precious heart. The visitors were gifted random unreleased photocards with their entry tickets and all the merch sold out almost immediately, so just few lucky armies were able to get their hands on those beautiful little unique pieces. Jimin's exhibition captures Jimin's musical journey from his wanderings and reflections at face to the release of Muse like a closed flower bud finally blooming. To all of us who can't explore it by visiting the site themselves, let's take a look at the photos shared by other lovely armies for us on social media so that at least this way we can immerse ourselves in this exhibition that is representing Jimin's wonderful mind and soul.
Following up, let's take a look at Jimin's pop-up event that was very much like its own little Jimin exhibition that happened on 12th and 13th of October at Noded Ixeon B Cafe in Ixeon Dong. Long lines of Jimin biased armies were forming to visit the site from the early morning and the space inside looked absolutely gorgeous with sets resembling Jimin's muse, MVs and concept. Then we had a lovely event in Cafe Kid Moon at first floor in Yongsan Gu, Seoul from 9th to 13th of October with lovely Smeraldo Garden decorations. And another one taking place at B-Day Hongde branch where the visiting armies could enjoy similar to previous year's adorable Jiminy balloon floaties and adorable variety of Jiminy shaped cookies. So, if we mention cute cookies, we have to take a look at the ones prepared also in W Cafe event, also in Hongde, where they were even dressed in military uniforms. Then another mini exhibition that happened in Gallery Cafe Bias with many Jimin photos displayed on the walls and sweetest looking cup holders. In Philippines, there was a wonderful gallery type event as well, organized in Pike Coffee, decorated with another cutie, Chimini Muse balloon doll called Wonder Wonder with Chimin.
And also, let's take a look at events prepared by my lover Jimin fanbase that happened from 11th to 14th of October in Nagoya, Tokyo, Osaka, Fukuoka, Taipei, Los Angeles, Jakarta, Seoul, Sapporo, and even in Paris. All of those cafe events and even more you can check out on the Seoul Day Tripper YouTube channel where they visited and documented many of those carefully prepared with love and care Jiminy birthday celebratory spots. The link to their channel is once again in the description box. Continuing with the cafe events team, we can't forget about Jimin's dad, Zia Milenio, where countless bouquets of flowers arrived to shower Jiminy with deep love and affection from all over the world. Armies from Japan even asked a famous flower artist in Korea, Bumiel Flower, to create this beautiful flower piece to send to the millennial. The artist is also a longtime army and said that he loves Jimin. It is very impressive how beautifully the Smeraldo flower was recreated in this art piece. Just look at it, absolutely stunning! The Millennial Cafe announced also on their official Instagram account that in gratitude for many people that will be visiting them this year, they have prepared thousand small gifts to be provided to visitors on the 13th of October. Also, beautiful advertising banners celebrating Jimmy's birthday have adorned the streets of Busan near the Millennial Cafe. And additionally, in preparation for Jimin's birthday, Busan government implemented a special task force for safety and security during Jimin's birthday week due to overwhelming crowds. The Busan Ibo reported that the local government and police are making all-out efforts for safety management. They are preparing for any safety risks as thousands of people visit the cafe run by Jimin's father. Jimin's popularity is remarkable. Many fans even travel to South Korea, particularly to Busan, Jimin's hometown, to visit key locations like Jimin's father cafe. Each year, the number of visitors grows, prompting the police to manage safety and security. In response, the Busan local government has officially created a task force to ensure the safety of guests during the birthday celebrations. With Jimin's birthday drawing significant tourism and boosting the local economy, the government considers it an important event, making the task force a key part of ensuring that festivities go smoothly each year. Overall, with more than 70 cafe events in South Korea alone, plus many more around the globe, we know that Jimin's power and impact are absolutely undeniable.
So, to kick off the celebrations of this special day, near the Busan Bridge lighted up in purple, a beautiful fireworks show brightened up the night sky right as the clock struck midnight on October 13th. The fireworks sparked beautifully not only in Busan, because Japan also didn't fall behind with their birthday celebration in style with a stunning fireworks display in Chiba organized by Park Jimin Japan fanbase. And of course, like I told you in the last episode, the Sapporo TV Tower Lighting Ceremony project was held to celebrate Jimin's birthday prepared by Japanese fans as well. The tower was magnificently lit up in yellow, a color that symbolizes Jimin on the day of his birthday. Next, let's follow up with even more celebrations like the new videos of mentioned in the last week's news video, bus wrappings for Jimin Day in both Busan and Seoul. as well as Jimin Bass video prepared by the Peruvian Jimin fanbase. Then we had the Kazakhstan Jimin fanbase Ferris Wheel project. As well as Brazil Army and Russian Army project in honor of Jimin's birthday that illuminated in purple Moscow Sun, the largest Ferris wheel in Europe.
Jimin Hungarian fanbase, on the other hand, went even beyond our planet and officially has given Jimin's name to a star, registering it in the International Star Registry. The star could be best seen from South Korea. So after we covered all of those incredible celebrations, let me also show you videos of as many as I could possibly find magnificent birthday billboard advertisement projects in Seoul, Japan and other places around the globe.
So now, to continue the celebratory projects and transition smoothly from offline to online events, let me show you the adorable Cake for Timin project that combines both of those worlds. Hosted by at Timini Melody, where for the second year in a row, many armies prepared incredibly fantastic cakes for Timini and showed them off in this contest for all of us to admire while celebrating Timin's birthday together. I mean, just look at them, we armies are just so talented! Next, Jimin sets new record with 23 plus keywords and hashtags trending on X for fifth year in a row on his birthday. Of course, despite Jimin's current absence, armies didn't stop celebrating his special day. On Twitter X, out of the top 30 global trends, an impressive 26 were dedicated to him only. And because of it, he set a new worldwide record as the first and only person to have over 23 related keywords and hashtags occupying Twitter's worldwide trends simultaneously for the fifth year in a row which included trending at number one in the US as well, solidifying his popularity and fan dedication. After that, we also got from official BTS account wishes a cutie baby Jimin YouTube short, Weaver's Army special photo, and also a Weaver's happy birthday new never released before 
Photos Collection. And finally, as the last but not least part of the celebration, Jimin's birthday inspires worldwide donations to humanitarian and conservation causes. Jimin's Asia Pacific Fan Club made a donation to Save the Children in Jimin's name as part of their Jimtober celebration. They also announced a donation to Doctors Without Borders to provide emergency medical humanitarian aid that saves lives. The Latin fanbase stated that, inspired by Jimin's positive example, they made a donation to the American Cancer Society Foundation in support of efforts to combat breast cancer. They also contributed to the Wildlife Conservation Network Foundation in Jimin's name, along with many other countries to help preserve 33 endangered wildcat species. Following this, in Chile, the fan base Pag Jimin Chile adopted the slogan Be Good, Be Like Jimin and made a donation to the Chilean Cancer Treatment Center. A charity project initiated by Selina Jimin VN visited and gifted the presents to disadvantaged students in the charity class in Vietnam. And in Myanmar, fan group donated food, clean water, medicine, clothing and other essentials to the areas affected by floods and political crisis. Also in South Korea, Jimin's fans led blood donation relay in honor of his birthday. In collaboration with the Korean Red Cross Seoul Central Blood Center and Busan Blood Center, Armies organized a blood donation relay project in honor of Jimin's birthday. Over a period of about three weeks, more than 692 fans participated. Korean Red Cross and Busan Blood Center also awarded certificates of appreciation to all Jimin fans who participated in the life-saving initiative. The donation campaign will continue until October 21st at the Hongdae Center, Seoul Station Center and Samyon Center in Busan. Influenced by Jimin's warm heart and consistent acts of kindness, which have earned him a nickname Angel's Heart, fans have celebrated his birthday by participating in meaningful, charitable activities turning the occasion into an even more touching and enriching celebration. And now, the summary of Jiminy mentions by other idols, celebrities, media outlets and much, much more. First, multiple outlets have reported on Jimin's new military photos and his special warrior title, which I told you all about in the previous Jimin News episode, like Yonhap News Agency YouTube channel and Star News Digital Newspaper Portal. Then we had Bangladeshi renowned newspaper publishing an article praising Jimin's amazing 10 week streak on Billboard Hot 100. Jimin Su was featured on this week's Strictly Come Dancing episode on BBC One. Strictly Come Dancing is a British dance contest show in which celebrities partner with professional dancers broadcasted on the UK's most watched TV channel. who by Jimin charted at 48 on CDTV September Original Monthly Ranking on Japan's TBS CDTV Live Live. A Japanese fan that was interviewed said, you've become incredibly cool and sexy since you started solo activities. 
Italian news program TG1 mentioned Timin while discussing global Spotify charts, and JTBC variety show reported about the Kingsley family story whose father was struggling with several illnesses and only Timin's song Lie could help to keep him awake and conscious to be able to eat. Timin's voice and songs have truly healing and magical abilities. The family also reported to make heartwarming donation to repay the vulnerable elderly in need living in Timin's hometown of Busan as a sign of gratitude and how they are inspired by Timin's kindness and generosity. Next, Timin's pretty poster was spotted in Lara's room from the girl group Katsai in her recent live. Earlier, Lara expressed that Timin is her role model and Set Me Free Part 2 was probably the song she has listened to the most in her music life. Then, tattoo artist Polek, who did for Timin all of his tattoos and also for JK, in a recent interview for Korea Now channel, said that he talked with Timin a lot and that Timin shares a lot of new insights and good advices with him, as well as inspires him to be a better person. Timin's personality shined once again through the proof of his positive influence on people. After that, there was also Ha Su, a member of South Korean girl group Artmus, performed Who during their concert in Helsinki, Finland. Then, Jimmy Fallon wished Jimin happy birthday in a post on his official Twitter X account, along with wishes posted by the Tonight Show account and the Webby Awards as well. Among thousands of other birthday celebrations for Jimin, we also had Grammy Museum post, cute Tokopedia post, and Dior fashion PR coordinator Evelyn Hua Chang shared one of the pictures posted on Weavers for Timin's birthday on her Instagram story. And next up, Timin was nominated for Best K-Pop Category at the 2024 MTV European Music Awards. He was also featured on the story of the official MTV EMA Instagram account as the representative for the K-pop category. And additionally, Jungkook got a nomination in the Best K-pop as well. Then, Jimin also has received five nominations for the 2024 MAMA Awards, which are as follows Best Male Artist, Best Dance Performance Male Solo for Who, Fans Choice Male and the Desang main prize, Artist of the Year and Song of the Year for Who. Other BTS members that got nominations were RM, J-Hope, Jungkook and V. And now the social media updates. Let's begin with Jin's hilarious Weaver's Life on October 10th in celebration of Jimin's early birthday as well as the announcement of his Super Tuna extended version special video. Like always, Jin was so funny joking around that because he is doing the live instead of Jimin for his birthday, Jimin needs to transfer payment for Jin to his account. Then he sang a happy birthday song to Jimini. And he also shared a little insight of how he used to talk with Jimin once a week, but now they can't do it so often because Jimin is more busy in the military. 
but he still keeps in touch and he said Jiminy is well and healthy and we shouldn't worry about him. The celebration was so adorable with a poster of Jiminy baby picture and a cute yellow cake. And then Jin changed the whole decoration announcing his special Super Tuna version extended release. In typical Jin fashion, he began with showing us the video even before the release, spoilers, and he even put a fish hat plushie on his big hit cap. He is so unserious and we love it. If you haven't seen it yet, my reaction to this Jin video is available on my channel. And then next, on the day of his birthday, our sweetest, most precious Jiminy wrote a heartwarming and beautiful update letter to us on Weavers that said, Hello everyone, I'm here. It's been a while. My birthday already is here. I've been so busy getting used to the things and now my birthday is here. But time feels like it's gone both fast and slow. It seems fast when I look back, but slow when I look ahead. Everyone, when will I be in front of you calling out to you like that? I miss you. I miss you. Hmm, a really long period of time is passing by, isn't it? What is it like for you, armies? I wonder how you are spending your days during this time. Doesn't waiting for us get tiring? I worry about that, but at the same time, I also hope that you are just really happy and having a really happy time. Because you guys really have to be happy. For the first time in a while, such a happy memory has been made for me. Thanks to you guys. I'm not asking you to worry. Since this isn't easy, still, there are so many good people here in the military and we are all staying strong together, doing our training, I'm eating well and really working out hard too, so please don't worry about me. Thank you for all of your birthday wishes. I don't know how I got so lucky so as to get birthday wishes even when I'm in the military. I don't know when I'll be able to repay all of this, but I'll make sure I do once I'm out, so please wait just a little longer. I'm trying to write, but I keep stopping and starting again and again, and I think I've made this post too clunky. I won't forget this precious day. Army, the most precious in the world. I love you. I really love you so, so much. I'll come again. Oh my goodness, he is such an angel. We are so grateful for those words of love and reassurance and to know he have seen all of armies love through all of the birthday projects from around the world as well as all the wishes sent to his dad cafe makes our heart flutter with joy. And to answer his question, no, we won't get tired of waiting for his and BTS return because we purple blood armies will be here forever and for always, supporting him and them in every step of their way. Don't worry, Jiminy. We will be here waiting for you to welcome you back with open arms and hearts. Additionally, Namjuni also posted birthday wishes for Jiminy on his Insta story and we got another little birthday hobby film for Jiminy as well. <laughs> And next, on October 16th, we were lucky to witness an adorable exchange on Weavers between our 4J line, Jiminy, J-Hope, Jin and Jungkook, 
First, Hobie responded to Jin's post about his discharge and then Jungkook also commented on Hobie being released from military, wishing him best in doing all the things he wants to do, and he pointed that he and Jiminy still have 238 days left on their service, and to that Jiminy responded with admiration for J-Hope's and Jin completion of their military duties with the let's be strong cheer. It was so nice to feel for a moment like old times where members of our Tia line were joking with each other in Weaver's comments. <laughs> Later, we also got a quick update on the same day for our Namjuni in form of a new photo posted by one of his friends on Instagram. And then the very next day on October 17th, our hobby got discharged from the military and our shining sunshine finally returned to us with the brightest smile on his face. He was greeted by Jin with big bouquets of flowers and there was a fun moment when Jin was holding a bunch of mics for Hobie's speech. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see all the members for this event of Hobie's coming back, but we know they will all meet privately and celebrate together. So we were just very happy to see Hobie with us when he also turned on Weaver's Live to talk with Armies a bit right after he reached Hype headquarters. And we finally got to hear again his famous I'm your hope, you're my hope. I'm J. Po. <laughs> 이 군인으로서 마지막 하트 안녕 Welcome back Hobie, we are so happy to have you back with us and now we just have few more months left for Jiminy and the rest of the members to return so let's cheer up like Jiminy said and wait patiently for OT7 reunion in 2025 Phew! Alright everyone, so that is all for this week's news and at the end, like always, please enjoy Jiminy Achievements. See you next time!